Hi everyone, I'm going to be talking about the transformation brooch and disguise pen proplica today. Towards the end, I'll also do a comparison with the 90s version. I was playing with it earlier and I really like this set. I've always had a soft spot for the first season though. It's really well made and shiny. I like how it's thin and it's very accurate. This is where the sound comes out. There are two main buttons on this brooch. This is the most selection button and this is the activate button. To get to the power switch and volume control, you need to open up the back. But it's a nightmare to open and you really need to use this little tool that is included. So you stick the thin side into the little slit and you twist to open up the gap. And you do that for both sides. And then the lid will kind of sort of pop off, but you still need to use some force. So over here is the power and volume switch. X means it's turned off. A means quieter and B is louder. Over here, if you unscrew this, you can access the batteries inside here. So I'm going to pull out this tab now to start the batteries. With the pen, it's kind of the same. you got to open this up to get to the batteries. The slit here is too small for the tool, so you got to just kind of use your nail. I'm going to open this up now. The disguise pen is a real pen. You just twist the bottom and it comes up. The display stand is pretty easy to put together. There is a design here to match the actual brooch. So the pen just slots into here. And the brooch clicks into the top one. This is a really great set and I can't wait to go through all the sounds with you guys. It'll be fun. They do different things, but I'm going to go through the brooch first because it has more sounds. There are three music sequences it can play and then there's two versions of each, voice and no voice. And you activate the sound by pressing the crescent moon. You press it twice to get to the voice version. This is a second one. And here's the third one.
You hold the moon button for a few seconds to change into a background music sound effects mode. And now we restart the cycle. You hold the moon again to switch back to voice. <laughs> to use the infrared function on the disguise pen easily, you should put the brooch onto the stand because this back button basically needs to be held down, which you can do with the stand here. You'll know it's set up properly when this is blinking continuously. You aim the disguise pen about 30 centimeters away and there's only one button on the disguise pen, which is this little circle one. <laughs> Every time you click this button, the crystal on the top lights up. There are seven disguises that she can change into, and this is the third one. And the fourth. <laughs> and this is the fifth. This is a six. This is a seventh.
I'll do a quick comparison with the 90s one now. This is the most accurate one from the 90s that was made. It doesn't light up or play music, it's just an accessory. You can see that it's more thick, less refined, and it's a bit more dull. It also opens up to fit this nail polish bottle inside. I don't have the Japanese 90s version, but the actual pen itself is the same, so we can still do a comparison. Surprisingly, the Proplica version is smaller and thinner. It's also less ornate, but the shape is better. The 90s version of the disguise pen actually does light up by pressing on this clip here. And the top of the crystal will light up, but it doesn't play music. I really recommend getting this set. The music, the sounds, the voices it can play are all amazing. But that might be my first season bias talking. You can find this for around $100, which isn't too bad. You're kind of getting two toys. And I'm happy to see that infrared made a comeback. There were some toys in the 90s that had it, and I think this is the first Proplica to bring it back. Another big, big reason to get this is because this is the best transformation brooch from the first season they've ever made, including the 90s until now.